Hello everyone. Today is Friday, 27th of September 2024, and we're going to look at the trades that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones, and S&P 500 futures if we see low risk opportunities. If we look at the one hour micro chart, we see that the price was fluctuating around the previous day close on all e minis. And by looking at 10 minute macro chart, we see that after New York market opening, the price has started to go down on NASDAQ and S&P 500, but went up on Dow Jones. So our plan of action is to wait for the price to come further down and retest the previous level of support. And when it starts to go up and the buyers come back, we take long positions with setup B, C, and T repeatedly. So stay tuned and we're going to update you with any trade that we take later on today. So it's 10.30 and we're back and as you see the price retested the previous level of support and it got rejected and the buyers came back. So we took one long position with setup C on all e minis that was closed with profit. So we're going to wait for next pullback and setting limit order since the buyers were strong I just entered one position on NASDAQ not to miss any trade and we see if that get close yeah that got close with profit uh, we set another limit order on NASDAQ waiting for other limit orders on Dow Jones and it was just filled on Dow Jones and also on S&P 500 entered manually so we're waiting for the price to have a pullback on NASDAQ our position on S&P 500 was closed with profit we're setting another we're adjusting the stop and limit orders we entered another position on NASDAQ as we see the buyers are pushing the price higher that one was closed with profit the buyers on Dow Jones are not so strong so I'm going to close this with a smaller loss or some small profits I just close it because I see the sellers are getting a strong on Dow Jones and it's not synced with other minis I just set another limit order below to see if that can get filled the buyers on Nasdaq are strong so I just entered another limit order not to miss any trade and set other limit orders for better entries and also on S&P 500 so the, the second order was filled and both positions were closed with profit on Nasdaq the buyers were not strong to reach the upper area of channel so we're forming a triangle and kind of sideways pattern just entered another long position on Dow Jones and NASDAQ and aiming for a small profit because we're losing the trend and it's kind of sideways patterns now I'm adjusting the limit order on NASDAQ to get filled the Dow Jones position was closed with profit the NASDAQ one also was closed with profit and it's very choppy and non-trendy so we're done for the day and let's have a look at the stats of these trades as you know these trades were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts and you see here the performance of one of the accounts which was positive showing the profit factor of 4.4 which is coming from 81% win rate from the long positions taken and average win to loss ratio close to 1 the largest winning trade was 255 and the largest losing trade was $149. So hope these trades taken by the path system for fast scalping is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also weekend.